Awesome. Well, thanks so much, uh, everybody, for for being here. Super excited to bring this to you. So today, what we're going to be covering, as I'm sure you guys are all interested in, is how to get seller leads, how to get listings. Right now, sellers are the name of the game, and it's so important as a realtor to generate seller leads so you can actually uh, get listings. So we have Mike Sherrard here, who's actually going to be giving us the presentation. If you guys don't know Mike Sherrard, he's out of Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Uh, he's with eXp Realty, and he's actually recognized as one of the top realtors in the world on social media, number one in Alberta, number one in Calgary. And he's been able to absolutely crush the real estate industry by leveraging video. So he's going to be going over what videos you need to leverage as a realtor in order to generate listings and leads uh, at scale. So with that being said, Mike, thanks so much for being here and take it away. Hey guys, super excited for this. It's uh, it's going to be good. You know, as mentioned by Kyle, thank you for the introduction. Uh, video is the name of the game right now, and and it's important. I'm going to dive into why it's so important um, in a couple seconds here, in order to get ahead of the curve and build your business in an efficient way, not just an effective way. So I'm going to go through a bit of a presentation here, and if anybody has any questions at the end, uh, feel free to you know kind of write out your questions along the way, and then we'll we'll dive into it. So um, uh, Kyle gave me a pretty perfect introduction, um, but for those that, that don't know, um, I am here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, um, a Canadian like many of you guys, and social media is my kind of forte. I train thousands of agents a year on social media. Um, I joined eXp Realty 18 months ago, almost to the date, um, and since joining the company, I've broken every personal record to exist at eXp, um, and I'm also the founder of High Converting Content, which is a uh, branding agency for realtors and the social agent Academy, which is my social media training. So the importance of video is diving into, again, the difference between effective and efficient. And when you look at most real estate agents, they build their business in a very effective way. Right. And, and again, there's nothing wrong with it, which is, you know, why it's effective. Um, but that's things like, um, door knocking, cold calling, mailers, open houses, um, things like that. Because when you look at building something that's effective, again, it works, but it's a one-to-one -one ratio. And what I mean by that is your business is only growing when you're putting the time into it. So when I got started in 2017, I got started door knocking and it was very, very effective. I got about you know, half of my listings in my first two years with door knocking, but you know, my business was only growing when I was pounding the pavement or when I was hitting the phones. And what you realize is, you know, most people get into real estate to create lifestyle, a flexible lifestyle and wealth. Um, but when you're running your business in, a, in an effective way where it's only growing when you're investing time into it, you're never going to get out of the hamster wheel of chasing the next deal. It's impossible, which is why you see agents that are, you know, 20, 30 years into the business, they still haven't made a million dollars a year um, and they're still chasing the next deal. Um, whereas when you build business in an efficient way by leveraging scalable strategies and creating leverage, it's now one to many. So now, you know, when I was door knocking, I was going door to door one by one, and I would only do it for about three hours a day. Um, whereas now I can create a YouTube video like I'm going to show you guys, properly optimize it, and it could be door knocking and cold calling for you 24-7, 365, attracting clients at scale. Um, so it's now uh, something that allows you to create leverage in your business. Um, and again, I don't have a picture here, but I was a top producer at my past brokerage in January of 2019. And in January of 2019, I was in the Maldives in Thailand the entire month. Yet I was the top producing agent at a brokerage of over 130 agents. The only way I was able to do that without doing a single thing the entire month, but traveling and riding elephants um, uh, was basically to create leverage. So, you know, these strategies work really well. And it's about becoming a lighthouse and having clients attract to you. I'm not going to go too far down the rabbit hole here. Um, but again, it's kind of the tugboat, you know, lighthouse analogy where you look at a lot of agents and they kind of do what a tugboat does, which is set out to sea or set out to your city every morning, try and get clients, come back to shore, come back to your house, and then rinse and repeat every single day. Um, whereas when you make yourself a lighthouse, the tugboats are attracted to you. So you attract clients. And this is, I get emails every single day from agents saying, Mike, I'm struggling. I want clients to come to me because they want to work with me. I don't want to have to go out and find clients and pitch why they should be working with me. And that's what video allows you to do is to attract people um, who want to work with you. And now the conversion rate is astronomically high because they're coming directly to you instead of you having to go out, nurture them, follow up with them, you know, put them on a drip sequence, call them, annoy them, bug them, and hope to God in seven months from now, they actually want to buy or sell. Um, whereas the people that come to me want to work with me today immediately. So um, I've been able to use this 
in order to sell multiple, um, you know, luxury listings, as you can see here, the most expensive in the history of my city, among another uh, a bunch of other ones. And there's a ton of agents in our group that are using these exact same strategies that I'm about to show you um, that are building scalable business. You know, Suman over here um, has done now 70 deals in 11 months entirely from YouTube. John's doing eight to 10 deals a month from YouTube. Um, and both of these are brand new agents of brand new cities who had no experience and only use an iPhone just using these simple strategies. So these guys have never spent a dollar on ads. They've run no Facebook ads. They've run no marketing. Um, and they have done zero prospecting since getting their license. Both are on track to do anywhere between 30 and $52 million in their first year. Um, so let's get into this, you know, why YouTube, and then I'll get into the six videos that are proven to attract clients at scale. So without going into all of these, um, obviously, you know, there's billions of active monthly users, but when you look at real estate, it's based around search because in real estate, it's not just who you know, but it's who knows you and who can find you. So knowing that YouTube is owned by the number one search platform of the world, um, you have a really cool opportunity in order to leverage something that's free to rank without having to spend money. So I'll show you, I, I can actually just show you right here. For example, um, you know, there's people spending tens of thousands of dollars a month to rank on Google ads for these search terms. And my free YouTube videos outrank their thousands of dollars a month on Google. And this is the same thing the real estate agents are doing is you've got top producers in your market that have been around the block for many years. They've got a huge budget that's bigger than yours. And you're wondering, how can I keep up with that? How can I, you know, what am I going to do? I don't have that money. I don't have $10,000 a month to spend. You don't have to create a free YouTube video, properly optimize it, and you can outrank them every single time because what you're seeing based on consumer behavior, which is what we'll get into, um, is people would rather watch a video than read a blog or go down the rabbit hole of an article. So, you know, listings with video receive on average 403% more inquiries, but these are the two ones that I really care about here. The rest is kind of just whatever. 85% um, of homeowners would be more likely to list with a realtor that uses video to market their house. All right, so if you want to win a listing, people are now like home buyers and sellers are understanding that you know a real estate agent's job is evolving, and if you're not staying ahead of the curve and offering more to your clients, then again they're going to look for somebody who is. And 86% of home shoppers look to video to find out more about a community. So if you're looking to farm a certain community in you know your local area, you want to make sure that you've got video about it because that's how people are trying to find out more about a community because you can't just read about it. They want to see it. They want to feel it. They want to get a sense of it. And that's why it's so powerful. So to explain a couple key components about why it's now, and then the next slide is the videos. Um, number one, again, is consumer behavior. So when you look at consumer behavior, people are looking for convenience, right? People are, you know, looking to consume more information as quickly as possible and easy as possible and convenient sells, right? That's how McDonald's model is built um, is it makes it, you know, convenient for the customer. So when you see in the past, a lot of real estate agents write articles and blogs um, about communities or selling a house or buying a house that nowadays people are looking to just listen to how it's done so they can multitask, do other things. Um, and when you look at consumer behavior, people are a lot more likely to watch a video than to read an article or a blog about the same topic. Now, embracing change is really important. And this is one of the biggest ones for real estate agents, which also goes into thriving versus surviving is, you know, there's, there's always two types of agents, those who are thriving, those who are struggling to survive. And the ones that are struggling to survive are not embracing change. They're saying, well, I don't need to use social media. I don't need to be on video. And it, you know, inherently they know they need to, but they just don't want to. Um, and if you look at any you know, strong business owner, Elon Musk, Richard Branson, anybody that's built a big business, they're all on the leading edge of what's relevant today, right? Because they understand that they did stuff in the past that worked. There's new things today that work and there's going to be new things tomorrow that work. And in order to stay ahead of the curve and build a, you know, a business with longevity, you need to be adapting and embracing change to stay in front of more people. Um, because again, the name of the game is how many people can you get in front of and stay in front of? And the ones that are thriving are the ones that are doing exactly that. Um, so it's really important because people that are not leveraging video are only going to fall further behind every single year to the point where at some point it's going to be nearly impossible to get back on the horse and keep up. Now, 
video is really powerful and you'll see as you start to create videos it develops the number one skill real estate agents need to thrive um which is communication right if you're not able to communicate and put out a strong video it shows that you're lacking communication skills and all you need to do to win listings is to be great at communication. I've never lost a listing since getting my real estate license in 2017, going up against top agents as a brand new agent that was 24 years old because my communication skills were strong. Even though they had bigger budgets, more years of experience, more exposure, I never lost a single listing. Um, and it also builds a like, no and trust factor because when you look at Facebook and Google or Facebook and Instagram rather, they count one second watched as one view. Whereas YouTube counts 30 seconds watch as one view. So when you're trying to build trust with your audience, which is what converts them into clients, YouTube is the best way to do that because it builds a deeper level of trust. Um, and the last one is showing versus telling. How many times have you probably heard or have you probably even said, um, you know, I go above and beyond for my clients. I do whatever it takes to get the job done for my clients. I'm going to do more than anybody else in your market or anybody else that you talk to. Um, if you're not leveraging video, you're lying to yourself and to your clients because you are not doing everything it could take to get their home more exposure and get their home sold. Because if you did video, that would be the trick to doing it. And if you're not doing video, you're lying because you're missing a key component to what you could be doing more above and beyond for your clients um, in order to get more exposure for their property. So you have to show, not just tell people what you're doing. And as you start to put out high quality content, um, it's the best way to build a live case study or live portfolio, the quality of work that you do. So when we start looking at the videos that work really well, here's the top six videos um, that work really well for sellers. Um, now, the first one's kind of quirky, which is how to sell your house without a realtor. And a lot of people would say, well, Mike, you know, why would I want to tell people how to sell a house without a real estate agent? I'm a realtor. I want them to use me. Um, it's the same thing I do like with my social media training, for example, is I show people, hey, here's exactly how you can run ads. Here's exactly what you can post. Here's exactly everything you can do. But when they see how much work it actually takes to do it, they never want to do it themselves. So when you create a YouTube video talking about how to sell your house with a real estate agent and you say, hey, here's all the things you have to do for the photos, for the staging, for the uh, signs, for the marketing. Oh, and by the way, when you're at work at your nine to five, you're going to have people that want to show it. Oh, and by the way, you might miss opportunities because you can't show the property. Oh, and there's security reasons because you're having people that are unqualified coming into your house with your personal belongings and your family who you don't know if they've been pre-qualified or vetted before. Oh, and also what about all the legality aspect of it with the contracts and the lawyers and the title companies and everything else that needs to be done? Oh, there you go. If you want to figure it out, good luck. Um, and what you'll see is nobody ever wants to do it themselves because there are big repercussions to what can happen. Your things can get taken. Your family could be harmed. There's security reasons. You could have contracts. It could come back months later and lose you thousands or tens of thousands of dollars. So explaining the situation actually not only makes it you know, apparent to them as to why they shouldn't be doing it, but it gives you more credibility as a real estate agent, because most people unfortunately think realtors do absolutely nothing, but just toss a you know property on the MLS and they don't see everything that goes into it. So now it gives you more credibility as an agent to say, Hey, here's actually everything that I'm doing to get your home sold. If you want to try it yourself, here's the roadmap. Um, if you want me to help you with it, uh, here's a way to get in touch. Now, the second one that does really well is market updates, because it, you know, when you're doing a market update, it gives you a really unique opportunity to position the data in the favor of what you're looking to achieve. So if you're in the GTA, for example, in the Toronto market, um, and the market is going crazy, you have an, you have the ability to present the statistics in a YouTube video to say, hey, here's all the information about uh, the new inventory, the sales, the average days on market, the average sale price, the list price, if it's positive, negative, and all the beautiful stats that people care about in a market. And then at the end of that video, what you want to do is say, hey, here's how this data applies to buyers. Here's how this data applies to sellers. And when you want to attract sellers, you can, again, paint a picture and a story of how that data would be in the favor of why now would be the best time to sell. And we are the when you're the one over delivering on education, providing more value, giving more context and helping people understand, then they're going to come to you and say, well, you know, Kyle, you know, I 
really didn't understand that that's what's going on right now. Um, maybe I would like to get an idea of what, what my house would go for. Um, so you control the narrative. And that's the beautiful part about it is that when you're writing a blog or when you're just posting some static image on social media, um, people are going to make their own judgments and their own assumptions. But when you are doing it in video and you're controlling the narrative based on verbal delivery, you can put it in your favor every single time um, in order to help them understand why now would be the best time. So this works extremely well. And it's going to be one of the best ways to keep your finger on the pulse of the market data that you should know that most people don't know. Um, because again, you know, when you ask most agents, hey, Thermilla, how's it going in the Toronto market right now? You're going to say it's crazy. Things are going $200,000 over list price. Um, it's a great time. Well, hey, Thermilla, I live in North York. Can you tell me about that? And you're going to say, hey, it's great. But when you can say, you know, here's the inventory, here's the sales, here's the days on market, here's what's going on in this price point. Oh, you live in a condo, a detached, a semi-detached, here's what's going on there. You will show up as a knowledgeable resource to the point where people will never question how long you've been in the real estate industry, how old you are, what brokerage you're with, or any of that. Because when you over-deliver with value, people seek you for more information. Property tours is the third best one. This is how most people in our group are crushing it. And it sounds kind of counterintuitive, similar to the first one, right? You're doing property tours, showcasing a property, and it's going to get sellers, not buyers. It gets both, but primarily sellers. Because again, going back to the fact that it's a live case study of the quality of work that you do, and the fact that it's a continuous dynamic portfolio of the quality of work that you create as a real estate agent to market homes, what happens every single time is people say, wow, you know, Kyle, that was an incredible video. I want my home to be marketed like that. Not those other agents that upload it to the MLS, to their Facebook page and say, here's my new list and come check it out. I want my property to shine like a diamond. And that's what video can do. The caveat to property tours is you have to be in the video because again, more than likely, the video is not going to sell the property. More than likely, it's going to attract future clients and it's all about building your personal brand. So if you just send a video team to 123 Main Street in Bridal Path because it's a beautiful listing, um, it's not going to do anything for your business or your brand or to attract other sellers. So you have to be in the video. Could be in a limited capacity. Could be in the introduction and the outro. That's it. Um, you don't have to be doing a full tour, but it's important for you to be in there. And then the last three, again, are just based on SEO. So when you do you know, search engine optimization, this is just simply what people are genuinely searching for in every single market, which is how to prepare your home for sale, how to sell your home fast, and when is the best time to sell, especially in Canada, because we're seasonal, right? So if you live in a seasonal market, there's pros and cons to spring, summer, winter, fall right? There's not just cons in the winter, there's pros to it as well, where you can explain to people, hey, there's less inventory, which means you can be more strategic and competitive with the offers. Um, so there's a lot to talk about there in terms of the videos. Now, when you start looking, I'll just briefly touch on this before we wrap up here, um, about the key components of a video. You've got tags, titles, descriptions, and thumbnails. All you need is an iPhone um, in order to do these videos. Yes, as your budget increases and as you sell more properties, you can invest in higher quality equipment, um, but all you need is a phone. The phones these days are incredible. Um, and when my, when my you know, camera's dead, I literally use my phone for my YouTube videos. Um, so here's the four key components of a YouTube video, which is the thumbnail, title, description, tags. Couple key points here you wanna be mindful of when you're doing a thumbnail, make sure that you're in the thumbnail unless it's a property tour where you can just put a very beautiful photo of the exterior of the property with like a price point or a cool feature at the top. Um, you wanna make sure that the text is big, bold, and legible because 82% of people are watching a mobile. And one of the biggest mistakes I see is people use small text. And when you shrink this down like this size, nobody can actually read it because they're using text that's half the same color as the background and it's super small. Whereas no matter how big or small you make this, you can always see what the title is. Make sure your titles are very literal, right? Don't try and get creative. Don't make a market update and say, um, here's what's happening in Toronto market today. Like nobody's searching for that. They're searching for Toronto real estate market update, October, 2021, right? So be very literal because you have to understand that YouTube is a search platform. So think from your client or your ideal, you know, customer's perspective, what would they be searching or what would they be typing into Google or YouTube for your video to be the perfect fit? 
Very literal. It's very simple. Think about what you would type in if you were in their shoes as well. Um, and then with the description and tags, it's just about flooding it with the keywords that people again would be searching for in your videos. And again, to wrap up, you can see I use these same strategies to outrank everybody, including the top coaches in the world that have way bigger followings. Um, and you just want to make sure you're consistent, right? When you embark on the video journey, you have to understand that you're a creator, you're providing value, um, and you're now an entertainer in your local market. People are coming to you. Um, so if you put out one video a week, every single week for a year, that's great. If you put out six videos next week, two the week after, none for three weeks, a couple more weeks after, it's never going to work. It's like a Netflix series, right? If you're watching a Netflix series and they put out two episodes this week, two next week, two the week after, and then none for a year, and then six when they come back, nobody's going to be able to follow that series and they're going to die off. So you have to think about what you need to do in order to properly provide the right education to your clients. Uh, R&D, rip off and duplicate. Everything's been done. If you want to, again, search if you're in the gta and you want to type in toronto real estate you're going to find a ton of articles about toronto real estate that are written for you those written articles have basically just given you the script for your youtube video look at what other people have done turn it into a video they've created the script for you make your life easy um make sure it's clear concise compelling incredible uh meaning that clear you want to have a defined outcome don't just be talking about at, you know, real estate in general, make sure that people can watch your video and leave with the answer they were searching for and not have to go look for anything else. Make sure it's concise. Nobody cares about your day. Nobody cares about your weekend or what's going on in your life. Um, they're in it for them, right? Unfortunately. So you want to make sure you're not going on tangents. You're not going on stories. You're not rambling. You're getting straight to the point. That's it. That's all. And then get off, right? So a lot of people say, Mike, what's the best length for a YouTube video? As short as it needs to be to get the exact information you need across to make sure the people watching get the outcome they came for, right? Um, make sure it's compelling, meaning have fun with it, make it interesting. Don't just be monotone, talking head, boring with no emotion um, and make it credible, right? If you have good sales stats, you can introduce yourself with, hey, I'm Mike Sherrard, Calgary Real Estate Agent, top producer, whatever. Um, and if you're a new agent with no sales stats, leverage your brokerage. Hey, I'm part of the number one brokerage in North American history. Um, you know, we just got awarded Innovative Brokerage of the Year, eXp Realty, um, you know, and, and we're forward with technology, which is why I'm doing this video for you. Right. Um, and then the last thing, as we wrap up here, follow the blueprint The what you want to do in the first 15 seconds is hook the viewer's attention. Right. So instead of if we're doing like a market update, for example, I'll just make this up off the top of my head. Most people are going to come onto a YouTube video about Toronto real estate market update and say, hey, everybody, it's Mike Schraub with the XP Realty. And today I'm going to talk to you about the Toronto real estate market. They're going to be like, great. Um, what you want to do is hook them so that they stay tuned for the end. So off the cuff, I would, you know, instead phrase it more so something like uh, everybody's talking about how hot the, you know, Toronto real estate market is, but is it really as hot as you think? I'm going to talk to you about the stats you need to know and whether or not now is the time to buy or sell so you don't lose thousands of dollars and stay tuned to the end because the last thing I'm going to talk about is going to be the one that's going to save you the most money. Now you're curious versus let's just talk, right? Um, after you hook them, have a call to action. Say, hey, if you like the information I have, if you want to know more, if you have any questions, if you want to know how much your home's worth or whatever, feel free to contact me. All of my information's in the description below. My email, my phone number, here's how you can get in touch with me. Um, either send them to a landing page, send them directly to you. But if you don't have a call to action and you don't call to action, nobody's going to take any action. So they're going to watch and not do anything. Uh, you want to make sure you tell people what to do so that they actually are more inclined to do it, which is to reach out to you for more information so that you can talk to them and book a lead. So that is all I have uh, for the sake of time. And hopefully that gives you an example as to you know the six videos uh, that you can do that are proven uh, by tons of agents in our group. Um, and, you know, hopefully you start to understand the power of video, which is why Kyle uh, and Darmel are also using it.